Okay, then how about nuclear fusion? So nuclear fusion is uh, when we have two atoms or two new two nucleus. Okay, we make them combine together. After combines together, it produces a new uh, two. Actually, here it produces two new uh, nucleus. This is uh, deuterium. Eh? This is tritium. Both are hydrogens, eh? but both are the isotopes of hydrogens. So these hydrogens combine with these hydrogens. Okay, after the reaction, it produces a helium. Eh? This one is a helium. This one we call du this is deuterium. Eh? Deuterium. This is a uh, isotopes of hydrogens. This is tritium. And after the reaction, it produces a uh, helium and hydrogens. So this is nuclear fusion. So we combine, we join two nucleus together and it produce new nucleus. So during this nuclear fusion, a large amount of energy is released. Okay, large amounts of energy is released. Uh, but so we seldom use this, okay, because it's very difficult to control. This, uh, this reactions occurs at the star, including the sun. Okay, yeah. That is uh, how the energy produced from the sun. I guess you have wondered how can this uh, such large amounts of energy come from the sun continuously for a billion years? Okay, so where is this energy come from? Okay, the energies of the sun come from the nuclear fusion. This is one of the reactions of nuclear fusions. Okay, and this usually occurs at the center of the sun. Eh? The center core of the sun, this reaction occurs and as a large amount of energy is released and uh, this energy can last, this, this, this process can last for a few billion years. So that is nuclear fusions. Uh, examples, okay, deuterium with tritium produce a helium or deuterium with deuterium produce another helium but this helium with three neutrons only. Yeah? So these are examples of nuclear fusions. And again, you don't need to memorize this formula, okay, or this equation. You don't need to memorize this. Now, fusion is much more difficult to achieve eh, than fission because the hydrogen nuclides repel each other. So, uh, it occurs at a very, very high pressure and very, very high temperature. Usually, we do not use it, okay, because it's difficult to be, to be controlled and it's difficult to be achieved. So, the nuclide must be heated to, uh, this one is uh, one hundred million Kelvin or more uh, so that the nuclide will, will have enough uh, kinetic energy to overcome the electrical repulsions between the nuclide. It only occurs at the star or the sun, uh, okay, from the fusions of the hydrogen nuclide or uh, it's also used in this uh, hydrogen bomb. Okay, hydrogen bomb uh, used uh, these principles of uh, nuclear fusions.